Howdy, neighbors. I'm Carl. You may know me as Frank and Ollie if you look at my eBay store or follow my YouTube channel, which I encourage you to do both. Go ahead and go over here and subscribe to my channel right down there. Please subscribe and then like this video, comment on this video, and tell me what you like, what you don't like. So listen, uh, was on my way home, passed by my two favorite closed thrift shops. Uh, I call them my favorite. I haven't been in one. I've only been in the other one time um, before they've been closed. It's what seems like permanently now. Um, I just, I wonder what's going to happen with all the stuff inside those stores. I'm going to have to keep on top of that. But anyway, I knew of another thrift store in town, so I turned to go down towards that. And off to my right, I see a thrift store I didn't know was there. So I pulled in, and this place, y'all, is filled to the rafters with stuff. Uh, I mean, it. I have never seen more DVDs and videos and books in one place in a thrift store uh, setting. Uh, I've got to, I only wanted to spend a little bit of time in there. I wanted to pick up just a couple of things because every day I do something in my business. And right now I need merchandise to put on my, my store. So uh, I went in there just looking for a couple of things. But as you can see on this footage, it is everywhere. Uh, glassware and, and mugs and, 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 and electronics. Um, it's just all stuff that I wish I need more time to go through. So the next time I go there, I'm going to take a little bit more time. I just told my family that I was not going to spend a whole lot of time. So that's, I, I didn't want to do that today. But that is a definite place to go back to and see. Uh, I talked to the lady there and she said, yes, they have resellers that come in. So I don't know who you are, but we've got a, we've got a good spot in this one. I'm going to just jump in here and do a little voiceover. This is the electronics area. Uh, there's, I mean, they're just piled on the shelves here. That was an E-Tech um, DVD player I'm looking at right there. Uh, I've never heard of E-Tech before. I'll go and check the comps in just a little bit. It's HDMI DVD player. Um, so I'll, I'll check that in just a moment. But they've got printers, and then in just a minute, you're going to see all kinds of cords, maybe. But that's, that's the condition of the shelves in the back there. Uh, that's all glassware. The next shelf over, and I'm just going to walk over that way. Again, more electronics. Going to come around the corner. And there, all of that is glassware or pottery ware. Um, just tchotchkes for the house. I mean, there, was, there was not a lot that I could see stood out. Gave me a wow factor type thing. But there was a lot there, and I know that I bypassed a whole lot of stuff so um obviously that takes those shelves those were three um uh wii controllers for um rock band uh, i i passed up those but i may go back and get them uh, i've done clocks and all kinds of stuff. Folks, this, this store benefits a woman's shelter, a women's shelter um, in our area. So I definitely will be back to, uh, to help out their cause and, and hopefully come back and buy some stuff. If you see some stuff on the shelf as I'm walking past that you think I need to go back and look at, especially you people who know pottery and glassware, let me know. Uh, just tell me where you see it in the video and if I need to go back and take a look at it. But... Um, yeah, it's just it's overwhelming, and I'm just show, I'm just going to show you about a quarter of the store. There's two huge rooms filled with, um, in some cases, better china and and furniture and things like that. Uh, we get over here, more glassware, more glassware, and more glassware and and soap things, soap dispensers, candlesticks. That is a jar filled with glass candy. Why? I don't know. I would think you would hurt your mouth if you ate that candy. But up there you see walkers. This is in a warehouse type setting. So coming around the corner, those are shoes at the end. Coming around the corner, now we're into the mugs. Tons o mugs. Um, again, I did not stop to take a look at all these. I am going to have to come back and take a look and see what I can find. But I didn't see anything right now that jumped out at me the pottery looked like it was store-bought it didn't look handmade to me so uh but that's just at first glance i don't know 
Again, a whole rack of the same type of glasses. Need glasses? Let me know and I'll cop to, uh, cop to cost. So, um, anyway, plasticware, all kinds of plasticware. Some plates, some dishes. Here I am looking at the bottom of one of these dishes. Um, summer living, that one was from Kohl's, I think. Moving on, now look at a couple of plates here. And again, I don't know anything about pottery, but I'm going to have to learn, especially if I come into this store. That's made in England. Um, and then I see a 25th anniversary plate down here. I know I don't get it. I didn't get any plates today. You'll see in just a moment what I ended up buying completely. But um, yeah, just it is overwhelming the amount of stuff in this store. It's going to take me a couple of days to just focus on one area and come back. Folks, the book area. The book, was, the book area is about floor to maybe eight feet above my head, stocked full of books. Now, I know that books, by and large, don't sell except nonfiction, so I've got to come back and find out where the nonfictions are. This is kitchen appliances area back here. Um, knives, bowls, and then we make the turn and come back, and it's kitchen appliances. You got some coffee makers. Again, if you see something, flash by the screen and say, Frank and Ollie, you're a dope. You need to go back and get that. Please tell me that in the comments. And you can use those exact words. Frank and Ollie, you're a dope. Go back and get that. So looking down this little aisle here, again, more tchotchkes um, filled with home decor. Uh, looks like a little wine rack there. Um, the store is is one of those unassuming storefronts those are the shoes and that's just one part of the shoes now granted i did take a look at a couple of them and they were actually not as good as what i find in goodwill those are uh 511 tactical boots uh, but they looked worn a lot worn so this is me oh i find this little mermaid with the band cover and i thought woo there's money nope it's running for like five bucks anyway um but i did want to pick up a couple of things because i am there to restock my shelves so uh, as you saw me looking at these hats i picked up the st louis hat and i picked up this tampa bay hat i went up to pay and the lady said hey uh there's a five dollar minimum when you use a card now the hats were just two dollars each so i normally i would say hey just make make that's 250 and i will we'll call it even but i'm there to stock my shelf i need to buy stuff to put on my shelves my store is not as stocked as i need it to be so i ran around looking for something three dollars well i found something uh saw this hanging it was a jacket a very nice jacket just like a, a, a lightweight wind break windbreaker medium 38 to 40 made in the usa but the thing that caught my eye about this jacket was right there Eastern Airlines logo that tells me that this is a vintage jacket and folks it is in beautiful condition um, so I, I'm gonna put this up I'm gonna put this up online maybe for $20 I didn't find anything I didn't look for comps before I bought it uh, and then when I got into the car I looked very briefly I didn't find anything this jacket specifically but uh, I think I can do well with it so anyway every day do something in your business. Get into a business mindset. You are a business person. You're here to make money. You're here to buy low, sell high. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. And we all need to watch people who have done this. Today, I ended up subscribing to a bunch more people um, because I watched Harry Tornado's premiere video drop and there was an interaction between the, in the reseller community. So get in with those things. Um, hey, appreciate you. And thank you. Please subscribe and uh, come on back and see us again. Thanks, neighbor.